Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm up in Pesco Solido. We're up in uh, the mountains, I mean really high in the mountains. We're actually near the Parco Nacionale de uh, Molise, Abruzzo, and Lazio. And it's an area that's right up here in the mountains. We're kind of near the point where all three of those regions come together. And we're going to go look at a house today that is very importantly ground level because that's always nice. You're not up and down the stairs a lot. I think it's just one step in and you're at ground level. Uh, it is two bedrooms, one and a half baths, and the house needs renovation, but it's not a complete nightmare. It's not a complete knockdown. And I'm down here with Claudia from Alfano Real Estate. I wanted to mention that if you guys are interested in this, you can write her, Claudia, at alfanorealestate.com. Uh, you can also write me if you want, bradsworld8 at gmail.com, and let me know you're interested in this particular house. Uh, but always mention that you're a Brad's World viewer uh, because that way you get the special gift. No, there's no special gift. But just let them know that, that you're a viewer of mine and she'll take great care of you. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this property. Not a dead village. Traffic coming and going. Uh, there's a small grocery store, Alimentari. There's a bar. and There might be a restaurant nearby. We're about 15 minutes from Saro. So much traffic. Every time I hit record, everybody comes out. We're near Saro, uh, excuse me, Sora, which is a very large town that's nearby. So that would have all your services, including a hospital, uh, any kind of clinics, medical care, pharmacies, large stores, small stores, big grocery stores, gigantic grocery stores, uh, everything that you're going to need. Of course, up here in the village, there's not a whole lot up here. Um, it's like a neighborhood. I always say, you know, when you move to one of these little hilltop towns, look back behind me, beautiful, quaint, but they can't put a gigantic grocery store in a town that has 400 people. So that's why you're going to see maybe a little small communal grocery store just for the community and a bar. And that's about all you're going to have up here, but very close by. Uh, you, you would have all services. So let's go take a look at this place. Claudia is waiting for us. I think you'll like it. It's being used right now as an artist studio. And uh, so you're going to see all sorts of paintings inside. And again, yes, it needs work. But I can tell you, things here are selling really fast. As a matter of fact, I did a video recently, about four months ago, five months ago now, on a 15,000 square foot, 1,500 square meter palace that was very near here. And uh, sold. Everyone was like, oh, who would want something that big? Somebody did. Somebody from England bought it. Somebody from Poland bought the one next door to it. So things are moving. If you if you look on alfanorealestate.com, you'll notice that right now there's no more uh, of those places that I've already shown in these videos because people are finding them and they want to buy them because it's so reasonable here and it's busy. You're not in the middle of some village out in the hinterlands of, of, uh, of, of Sicily. Uh, where there's nothing going on it's very vibrant areas around here and so that's why people are picking these properties up it's kind of undiscovered but people are starting to find it so let's go see this property i think you're really going to like it and claudia is waiting for us and i hate to be late all right all right guys let's go see what sixty-five thousand euros gets you in pescolito so this house needs remodeling but it's in pretty good shape. We're going to start right in here in the kitchen. Now, as always, the electricity has been turned off because a dollar a day adds up fast. So this is the original kitchen. If only I could ask Claudia if the fireplace works. Hey, Claudia, does the fireplace work? Yes. So. It has not been used in the last three or four years, but it's working. So right now, someone's using this as an art studio, the whole place. A local artist but it's ready to be renovated and I assume all the plumbing and stuff is is working it needs a new heating system but this is two bedrooms two baths we would call it one and a half baths in the US here they just shorthanded right it's two two bathrooms whether it's a yes. bathroom with a tub or with a shower or without so let's see Gosh, you know, I bet, I bet you could take this wall out. You can definitely do that. It's like a 
temporary walk. Yeah, it's a temporary yeah. walk. Oh, yeah. That's the first thing I would do. Yeah. I would take this wall out because that's the kitchen we were just in over there. Right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, make a nice big huge, kitchen. Yeah. Big kitchen with nice big kitchen. Room. And not only a big kitchen, <laughs> But you have these storage rooms right off this room. So, I mean, this could be an amazing kitchen with a pantry. I mean, you got to have some vision, guys. You know, this is 65000 That leaves you a lot of money left over, hopefully, in your budget to come in and do some work on it. Now, you can see here used to be an oven. That's what that archway is. The, the house bread oven. But yeah, you clean this up, you could have a nice pantry way. Gosh, a big, big island in here, a big eat around island. That's what I would do. I'm already dreaming. I'm not even buying it. So let's see. Now, what's for sale is this whole floor. And the nice thing is it's ground level. So this is a gigantic, I mean, living room, dining room. Look how big this is. Pretty good artist too, huh? Paintings are not included. Another glorious day. So there's a, like a studio off of that. Nice dome ceiling. A reading room. <laughs> a lot of house for the price, Claudia. Now, my baby would be perfect for an artist or just for a boy with you. Not white face. Another window, same view, same side. So this would be a bedroom? Yes, a huge size. Would be a double bedroom or a master bedroom. And another bedroom here. Could you go ahead of me and open that door on the other side. So this is a kind of common area light well, but later we're going to come through that door and go down into the cellar, which is deeded to just this apartment. This that I'm walking on is just for this apartment, but the light well has other apartments in it as you go up. And there is a glass ceiling. And so we're back going into, again, the kitchen was over here. Claudia's about to open up that bathroom so we can see the one full bath. That was into the dining room. This is that staircase that goes downstairs. And this is your one full bath. Sorry for the flicker, guys. It's just the camera and the LED light that I'm using to kind of light things up and the light on the camera. I want to go back to the kitchen again. So this is the wall here that I was saying I would take out and make you a nice archway. You have a fireplace, a big kitchen going this way. Plenty of room for cabinets in here. Well, not plenty of room, but I mean, there's room for cabinets. That could be very interesting. And with a starting price of 65,000 euros asking, you got a lot, of, a lot of budget left over for, for doing all your renovations. All right, let's go see the downstairs cellar. Sorry.
what did you guys think of that place? Uh, I thought once it's fixed up, it's a lot of space for the money. And 65,000 euros asking price, you could do a lot worse. It's ground level. That's really hard to find. I always say in these towns that are elevated, buildings are two, three, four stories. So by reason, that means that only a percentage of the apartments are at ground level. So it's nice when you find one that's nice like that. So the town's pretty. You can see the mountains rushing up behind us. I found the pharmacy that's in town. That's always nice. It's a small town, so if there was an emergency and you had to get some medicine, I'm sure there's a way to have the pharmacists come. They probably live upstairs and open up and get you your medicine when you need it. You're not going 15 minutes down to uh, Sorta to get your medication. Uh, if you have any uh, questions on this property, uh, write Claudia at alfonorealestate.com. You can also write me, bradsworld8 at gmail.com. My website's bradsworld.it. If you have another question, you want to use the form. If you want to know what I can do for you, if you're looking anywhere pretty much in central Italy for an apartment or a house and you need something previewed or checked out for you, I can do that. Uh, my new book is out on Amazon. Uh, it should be out in paperback by the time you see this video. Uh, the Expat's Guide to Buying Real Estate in Italy. I hope you like it. There's a lot of history in it too and uh, price information general price information on uh, properties in 21 different regions from Lake Como all the way down to Sicily. Not exact because it's impossible to do exact pricing, but you'll also find a lot of information in the book on taxation, property taxes, the fact you may not even have to pay property tax here, which is huge, was for me because we pay 2000 a month in Texas a month in property tax, one of the big reasons besides healthcare that I wanted to retire to Italy. So uh, you can get the book on Amazon, should be coming to Apple Books soon. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, please subscribe. My mom asked me every time, she's 86, how many subscribers do you have now, Bradley? And, you know, I hate to say uh, it hasn't gone up at all. She's very, very interested to know how I'm doing on YouTube. So please subscribe and it, it lets me know how I'm doing. And as always, I enjoy reading your comments and answering them. So uh, feel free to send any comments you want to, all right? We'll talk to you guys soon. Ciao. Yeah.